I got let go from three jobs in a row. And I told a friend of mine, I said, man, I just got to find something to do that I can't get fired from. And he said, well, I think you should become a hairstylist. I'm like, yeah, right. No, never. Has never crossed my line, ever. And he kept talking to me. He says, I'm telling you, it's like foolproof, man. You'll, you'll, you know, he'd been doing it for years. So I went and decided to talk to someone about it. And I did, and I got into it. But the idea was that, I, I remember telling myself, I thought, if I don't have a job, if I don't have money, it will be no one's fault but my own. I'm fully accountable for myself. I learned a lot from many people around me. I watched everybody. And, and I will tell you that um, I feel like the secret to my success is that I've only, all I did was take what successful people did and just do that. It's quite simple. Just do what successful people do. That's it. The beauty of being a hairdresser is that what I was hearing from my customers, because I have you know, restaurant owners and office managers and you know, other entrepreneurs, and, and, and so I'm hearing their stories, right? And their struggle. They, they don't have any help. And they still don't have any help. I have one client that owns a staffing company, a big staffing company. She cannot find people to work. Though in turn, she stays stressed out all the time because she can't fulfill the jobs that people are calling for her to fill these jobs. I've not had a new stylist apply for a job in a year. And that's the first in 33 years. You can be anything you want to be if you're just willing to work hard. You sometimes you have to work harder. You got to work smart also. And you got to be willing to really put the hours in. And showing up is not working. A lot of people think because they show up, they're working. That's just showing up. And then if the job requires this and you really want to be successful, you got to give this. You got to give it all to be successful.